Nowadays, the tragedy has become, and it's been there for a few centuries. So we didn't start this problem, but we're continuing the problem. And that is when somebody says, I'm, I'm learning Quran, or my child is learning Quran. You know what that means? They're memorizing Quran, or they're learning Tajweed, or they're learning how to, to sound the words. And we call that learning Quran. When the Quran came down, nobody called that learning Quran. Nobody called that learning Quran. When someone was learning Quran, they were pondering the Quran. They were thinking about the Quran. They were trying to understand the Quran. So now that I've said that brief introduction, now I want to make clear for all of you two concepts that usually get confusing for, for us. Tafsir and Tadabbur. I'm going to define these two terms for you. Tafsir and what? Tadabbur. Okay. Tafsir is basically... Am I understanding the ayah correctly? What do the words mean? Do I know anything about when the ayah was given to the Prophet ﷺ? What is the context of the ayah? Is it being translated correctly? Is my understanding, the, 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 the lesson I'm supposed to get from this ayah, am I getting that correctly? That is tafsir. And tafsir work, our scholars have done centuries and centuries of work on tafsir. Sometimes they have debates in tafsir. We'll see that too. Sometimes there's debates. But for the most part, tafsir is basically research-based. You have to do the research. What does this word mean? What does this ayah mean? What, what, how did the companions understand it? What was the story behind this ayah, etc., etc.? All of that is the study of what? Tafsir. Okay? The mufassir, the people who wrote tafsir, they had a few basic questions in front of them. And when they answered those three, four, five questions, they moved to the next ayah. Then they asked the same three, four, five questions, then they moved to the next ayah. What does the ayah mean? When was it revealed? What, are, what, are, what, had the, what did the early scholars or early companions say about this? Did the Prophet ﷺ say something about this, etc.? There's a few questions. Once they answer those questions, they move on to the next ayah. There are different kinds of tafsir. Different specializations in tafsir. At tafsir bil ma'thur, at tafsir al lughawi al adabi, al ishari. There's all different kinds of tafsir. And each one of them, there's multiple people who did lots of work in each one of those categories. So tafsir is a big world. It's a, it's a very big world. Okay. But at the end of it all, it's where scholars do their work to try to explain the lessons of the ayah in simple language to you. Okay. Now, that's tafsir, but there's one more thing. What was the other thing? Tadabbur. Oh, what in the world is tadabbur? Tadabbur is, okay, now I know what the ayah means. Now I know something about the, 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 the history of it or the placement of it and all of that stuff. I answered all the basic tafsir questions. What does it mean for me? What is this ayah they're doing for me? Like, what do I get from it? How, do I, how does it change my view of the world? In other words, there's the information... And then there's the impact of that information. You understand? Tafsir will give you the information. Tadabbur is basically an exercise. How is this impacting my heart? How is it changing my view of the world? How is it supposed to change my emotions? How is it supposed to change my opinions? Because these ayat, they're talking about something that happened a long time ago. But they're also talking about my life right now. That's Tadabbur. The 